Is there any? This award is presented to a federal agency that has demonstrated leadership by investing in a diverse workforce. The U.S. Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration has taken a leadership position in support of America's competitive initiative by working collaboratively with the Hispanic community to eliminate barriers in science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM. This year, the U.S. Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration, there's a reason they use the acronym DOE and NSA, that's a mouthful, uh, served as the foremost federal partner to the Hispanic College Fund's Hispanic Youth Symposia in all seven locations, providing leadership, vision, and resources. Additionally, the support we received allowed the Hispanic College Fund to expand the program to New Mexico, where we now connect students to Los Alamos and Sandia National Laboratories. Under the leadership of Bill Ostendorf, Principal Deputy Administrator of the National Nuclear Security Administration, and all of my friends from the Department of Energy sitting over there tonight, we have improved on an already successful pipeline program that develops high school students from high school through college to internship and finally employment. We're pleased to acknowledge the Department of Energy and the National Nuclear Security Administration's outstanding commitment with the 2008 Legacy Award. To receive the Legacy Award on behalf of the U.S. Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration is Principal Deputy Administrator Bill Ostendorf, who I might add also spoke from the heart to our students at the Northern Virginia Hispanic Youth Symposium. Please welcome Principal Deputy Administrator Bill Ostendorf. George, thanks for the introduction. It's a real pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, I have to say that whenever I get a chance to speak about science and engineering, I wear my nuclear tie. <laughs> and uh, those, you probably can't see this, it has the atomic symbol on there. And it's a, a symbol of uh, the physics and chemistry that underlies so much of what we do in our organization. And I feel proud to wear that tonight and uh, appreciate the STEM focus that George Cushman is helping to lead within the HCF. On behalf of the Department of Energy and National Nuclear Security Administration, I want to thank you for this award. I also want to acknowledge the tremendous job the department has done over the years to support the symposium. I'd like to recognize a couple of our folks here tonight from both the Department of Energy and the NNSA, like uh, Teresa Speak, Annie, Annie Watley, and the following to please stand up, Marianne Fresco, Melissa Rodriguez, Fred Soto, Jeff Vargas, David Amaral. Would y'all please stand up? <laughs> These are the folks that make this work on the behalf of uh, the department, and or we are all privileged to work together in this vital effort for our country. I'll tell you that uh, it was a real pleasure a few months ago at the invitation of George Cushman to go out to George Mason University and attend the Northern Virginia HYS efforts. And I, I was just impressed with the enthusiasm, the energy, the excitement of what I saw out there. And I'll tell you that that youth symposium really was an eye-opener for me personally and professionally, and it further cemented our team's commitment to this program. I think the youth symposium is a haven for inspiration, where students with talent get much needed encouragement properly prepare for the challenges and opportunities for tomorrow. Students with dreams, vision, and aspiration are exactly who we want to see as our future workers. As some of you may know, the National Nuclear Security Administration is a part of the Department of Energy and is responsible for the management and security of our nation's nuclear deterrent, our nuclear nonproliferation programs, and naval reactor programs. In the NSA, we also respond to nuclear and radiological emergencies worldwide we're currently operating in 130 different countries through partnerships. We provide for the safe and secure transportation of nuclear material, 
We execute a whole host of science and technology programs critical to national security. To meet our future workforce needs, we need the support of these programs like the Hispanic Youth Symposium and the HCF. It is an absolute imperative if we intend to remain a leader in science and engineering. Let me give you a few examples. A recent study of Fortune 500 executives in science and engineering oriented companies revealed that 95% are concerned that the United States is in danger of losing its global leadership position in science and technology due to a shortage of STEM talent. More than half of these companies reporting are already experiencing such a shortage. Today, the United States is a net importer of high technology products. Its trade balance in high technology manufactured goods shifted from plus 54 billion in 1990 to minus 50 billion in 2001. To compare to other countries worldwide, in South Korea, 38% of all undergraduates receive degrees in science or engineering. In France, numbers 47%, in China, 50%, in Singapore, 67%. United States, the number is 15 percent. We must do better, and I want to encourage our Hispanic youth here to consider this as part of their future career options. We realize that our workforce challenges, our ability to attract, recruit, hire, and retain employees is a central focus now and for years to come. We also recognize that the Hispanic and non-Hispanic communities face the same challenges. It is clearly in the interest of our country in our organization that we be intentional in providing opportunities to these great young people. Our workforce is really the driver of our innovation, and we believe that young women and men from our Hispanic community should be part of our team as we move forward. George mentioned the partnership we have in the state of New Mexico. We want to build upon that initial start and do more. We see the potential in the Hispanic community and other communities, and that is why we've invested in the Youth Symposium and plan a continuing relationship the College Fund for many years to come. In closing, on behalf of the NSA and Department of Energy employees and the supporters of the Youth Symposium, I want to thank you for this award. We look forward to working with you in the years to come. Thank you very much.